We hit the Bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but... But you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck. Ah, see? Davey, that's why we're such great friends, huh? We're old school, we like old-fashioned things. Newspapers, celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends.
the guy who iced Brad and would ice me? I'd be better off putting my sights on him. Ames made it out of here, and there's another group of agents hooking into our shit. Right now, you're not in a position to let him. Our only friend in the bureau get killed. What? We're good. Moving up on the reflecting pool. Get down here, Michael. You're covering me, T! More rogue agents on the walkway! We're clear. I'm moving up to the reflecting pool. Get down here, Michael! So tell me, Davy, who are these bureau men trying to kill me?
Fine with heels? All right, let's hit the road. This is the spot, right? What's up? Hey, man. I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? It uh, should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so uh, I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Yo, Mike and Trevor. Trevor to meet me up there? Lester, I don't listen to my messages, but I probably listen to yours. Do with that as you will. Hey, can I get a cab? Sorry, all the drivers are busy.
Hey, I need a cab. I'm really sorry. I don't... Can I get a cab right away? Uh, unfortunately, we got no cabs available at the moment. Can you try again later? Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be... He runs away from the fight, I run towards it. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. I'm meeting them head on. Direct assault. All right, my turn to move. Hey, I got a good advantage. I'll see what I can do up here when the time comes. I reckon our best shot is coming at him from two different directions. Maybe. We go in together. All right. All right, let's do this. I'll take it.
go away! No more! Fight! Where's the home yet? No more! Where's he at? I'm gonna find a way in. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left, there's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Here's where I'm making my play. I'm going right at him. All right, my turn to move. All right, I'm at the spot. When the time comes, I'll do what I can from up here. We might stand a better chance if we come at him from two angles. Maybe. Let's go find the dude. Laying down fire! Up! Uh, right! Bro, let's go! They coming! For us right now! Give us the mouthy one, and we'll be gone! For life, motherfuckers! Sniper fire! Oh, now you need me! 
getting out of here, dog. Oh, fancy seeing you here, motherfucker. Yeah, hey, hey, huge coincidence, huh? Hey, Come on, man. Come on, guys, they're here in force. You gotta move. The crazy oh. dude here, too. Hey, Trevor. All right, Lamar, let's go. We'll take Lamar, but we'll leave you in the weed. Tell me what Tanisha said again. She said I should come pay my last respects to the dumbest motherfucker in the LS. You're lucky we're not taking your pot, too! Man, this shit look... Like overkill! Go for Hey, I gotta fight on my hands! Making opportunity. Or I get killed opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Cause in reality, all them fools wanna clap your ass. Man, what a trust that dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up. I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the busy. Nigga, a perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was going to parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you know, because I'm sure there's been a few times where... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga. Whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood. What y'all? This the hood you talk about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar... Crime shit ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you called it? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. 
You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I shouldn't have called them, right? And I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapping. I can make sure I ain't clapping. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And hey, matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them, dude. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them. Shit! I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga Stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You show sure Stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga Stress knew. Everybody knew Stress knew. Tanisha knew Stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga Stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, Stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as Mark's dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stress sends you out there where they doing a good deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? Man, I don't know. That shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dog. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like... Shit! 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 Hey, shit, man! Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> you better check them draws, homie. You probably shit it yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. Nigga, you think I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never going to. You pray to your white man God, homie. I'm going to the Great Plain Beyond where the buffalo keep on roaming and the little squall bitches want me to nut on their face all day. Bitch, please. So I guess...
I saved you again, Davey. Again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right, the Agency and Bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve? He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. Ah, uh, yeah, you're throwing me softballs. A rum runner. But, uh, speaking of accidents, those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. I got a lot on my plate right now. Maybe some other time. Life Invader. Bro, I know you'll find this hard to believe, 
but it's kind of difficult for someone with a middling GPA and bad references to get a job in this climate. You gotta help me. Hey, if there's something, I'll call you. That's all I can say. Good luck out there. Okay, the airport. Just a witness, okay? 
you once, Tony, but there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. Hey, I'm sorry. I Look, I thought you knew. Man. The edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course! It's already on its way by Korea. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. Hey, Jim. Dad, why didn't you tell us about the premiere? Mom and Tracy are, like, freaking out trying to get ready for the red carpet. Oh, yeah. Shit. Sorry. I should have given you more warning. It kind of crept up on me. Have you actually got a tux? No. I gotta pick one up at Ponsonby's. Hey, meet me there. We'll go together. 